Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Got another robot here and a clockwork caterpillar and two toy cars. Do the caterpillar first. I just like clockwork toys. Very simple one. Wind up clockwork motor, turns those wheels which have got links out the side that pull the back of the body backwards and forwards. Uh, it says HANS, H-A-N-S, written on the back there. Number 2K70, made in China. Cost me 25 pence in the RSPCA. Next on the list, we'll have a look at this little car. 50 pence from the RSPCA. All it says underneath is made in China, so there's no manufacturer's details. I picked it up because I noticed it got an on-off switch. LEDs, and it just runs forwards. So it's got good grip, it actually goes pretty well. So it must be very well geared, low gear. Give it plenty of power there. So it says Play Day, High Super 36 Racing, Get By Racing, number 3456. Fast, but nothing I can identify as a manufacturer's details. Did just notice that it's got the Suzuki logo on it, so I expect that's a Suzuki Vitara or something like that. Next, this one. I think this is probably a cheap toy anyway, but I noticed it's got the wheels geared together, and I reckon it must have a good size flywheel in there because that keeps going from just the smallest push. So we might take that one apart, just have a look at the flywheel inside, see how big it is. I reckon that will go across carpet ever so well. 50 pence again, and no manufacturer's details on it. And then finally, this thing, I've had a quick look online before we did the summary. It's a mini Tribot. Now I think it's sold with a big brother that's remote controlled. Certainly that's what I found looking at it on the web there. Made by Wow Wee. Uh, some of the videos were dated right back to 2007. In fact, yeah, that one actually says 2007 on the bottom there. Don't know if the camera will pick it up. 2007 Wowie Group Limited, made in China. 17815FC8152. Um, but it doesn't do a great deal. The bigger one is remote controlled and it talks to you, does object avoidance, that sort of thing. This one, you switch it on and it just goes forwards. And it's got a button on the back that makes its ears pop out. Which I think the bigger one does when it talks to you and does things like that. But that's all this one does. Ears pop out, head pops up. Um, arms are poseable, it says. Well, yeah. That's all they do, go up and down. These spin round, but the actual drive is these two wheels underneath. Oh, and his eyes light up.
I thought it was going to do some sort of object avoidance, but it doesn't. It just goes forwards. And his head pops up, or his ears pop out. That one cost me two pounds. We had a bit of a debate about it in the shop. I offered two pounds and eventually she accepted. So there we go.